What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and today we are taking a look at a training guide for the Bayern Munchen players that they have released. First up we have got Sadio Mane. Now this guy lads, Mane has been slept on a lot including by from me I suppose because I haven't really played him. I haven't really given him a fair go this season. Last year when we first started playing eFootball 22 this guy was a monster and I think he's just kind of fallen through the cracks with all of the you know, the epics and the legends, but I mean, this card is definitely going to put him back in the spotlight, and I think for a great reason as well, because even though he has standard form, he is on A rating this week, he is playing for Bayern, so obviously when the live update goes down, I don't know what I recommend him, obviously over epics and stuff like that, you know, if you've got Neymar epic and, you know, the, the class players like that, um, it is going to be very hard for these players to compete, okay, that goes without saying, but this guy has got double touch, if you're able to stick on one touch pass on this guy, he has got everything else that you could possibly want in a card, especially cutting in as a winger. You've got so much pace, you've got so much speed and power and balance and stamina and everything that you could possibly want for a kind of all uh, action kind of winger that's able to do pretty much everything that you could possibly want, right? So we are going to take a look at his card in a little bit more detail over on eFootball DB, and I'm going to give you two training guides for him. Now, the one thing I would say about Mane, lads, is... Um, you need to kind of choose wisely where you're going to play him, right? So for me, if I'm going to be playing him, I want to have an option of having him as a center forward or kind of like somebody leading, leading the line. I'm probably going to start him as a right or left wing and then switch to a sub tactic where hopefully a lot of people are now man marking, right? I'm going to do a video on it uh, very soon as well. But what I'd be hoping is that if you're playing Mane through the middle with a sub tactic, it kind of confuses your opponent's AI and their backline. So we'll get into that in a future video as well. It's an important one uh, to note. But yeah, we are going to head over and take a look firstly at a center forward build of him. So this version of him, there's a couple of little things to get into here, but mostly it's a very balanced card with eight into shooting, passing and dribbling, and then four into dexterity and lower body, right? So the idea behind this that you can tweak a little bit if you are playing him as a center forward is you don't need that speed over 90. You definitely don't need stamina over 85, and you will get the boost with the form arrows with his on A form this week as well. So I would definitely probably take away a little bit of the lower body. And that will free up two points. I'd leave the dexterity as it is, because you're not going to gain much by one more point um, here. You know, you can leave that as is, and especially you want that offensive awareness up if you are looking to get a player, um, you know, like Mane and not play him as a goal poacher or a fox in the box, if he's got a play style that's not going to suit this card, um, especially playing him as a CF, you definitely want to keep that offensive awareness as high as possible, right? Now, if you are obviously playing him through the middle, okay, I have passing up here, that's just to bring others in. If you are getting one touch pass on this guy, you don't need this passing stat at all. You can actually leave that pretty much at zero. I would probably go to 68 to get, to get it up to 70 with the boost. But to be honest with you, you could probably leave that if you're just going to use Mane as a run and gun, right? If you're using him like a Romario type player with really high offensive awareness, really good dribbling, really good balance, acceleration, and of course, finishing. So depending on how good you are of a player, once you have him in this uh, position, you can either pop three more into that to get to finish into 83, or for me, who's, you know, I'm fairly comfortable enough with finishing chances uh, with Collar, who's only 80 finishing, so I'm kind of used to finishing um, with players that don't have 90 plus in finishing. I would probably, in my opinion, I would probably max out his acceleration here to get that offensive awareness up to 90, the acceleration up to 95, and the balance to 91. Because his physical contact is so bad, you do need to have a center forward that's able to kind of shrug off challenges. And balance and aggression are the two keys for that. Failing that, I would probably take two out of that. And you could also put three into aggression to have him a little bit more aggressive when he doesn't have the ball to be able to pressure. He does have track back, so that's why his stamina comes in there. He does have double touch, so you will need to be a good dribbler, even though his ball control and type possession isn't as good as some other players, which we'll show you in a minute, right? Now, I think the best version of him is obviously going to be a prolific winger, right? So you have two choices to make. The first being whether you want to max out his dexterity as a winger, right? The main thing that you need to focus on, in my opinion, is the speed. That's the main thing. But I think 95 is more than enough, right? You're still going to get boost to all of that. Depending on how comfortable you are with the ball, you could even probably max that out um, with eight into that. You're still going to get the boost to acceleration to balance and the offensive awareness is going to be brought up over the 90 zone dribbling is going to be brought up over the 90 zone i have two on defending here as a winger you don't need that 
So I would take that off to free up another few points. And then from here, right, you need to decide what type of player that you want, okay? If you're going to be kind of a all-round winger, if you're going to be, you know, defending and stuff like that, I would definitely boost up the speed and the stamina to at least 93 and 88. That's kind of where I would uh, max it out. Um, you know, and I would leave the, sh the finishing at 75 because he does have rising shots and first-time shots, so he is able to shoot. But from here, when you've got eight points left, that is, uh, that is a decision that you probably need to make whether you're going to be passing a lot with Mane and tracking back or else you're going to be shooting a lot. If you are shooting a lot, I would pop this up to 78 or 79, depending on your preference. And then I would probably pop one more. Um, or actually, yeah, I'd probably take one off that and then I would probably pop one more into uh, dribbling to get that dribbling to 90. Because if you are playing him as a winger, you want to have acceleration, balance and dribbling guaranteed 90s every time. I know you can get the player form boost, um, but you know, you're obviously going to get that with offensive awareness and you're going to get it with, uh, stamina, but the rest of the stats need to be very, you know, very, um, kind of locked down, right? So last but not least, we are going to show you a quick alternative. If you are not spinning or you've no kinds, you are staying free to play. If you take a look at St. Maximin, who's on B form this week, he can play left or right or through the middle. He's a prolific winger as well. 94 dribbling, 97 acceleration, 95 balance. Absolutely insane card. The only thing you're lacking is that little bit of finishing. But to be honest with you, he goes to a 93 as a left or right winger. He's 89 on the card. So he is kind of very similar to Mane, right? Obviously, what Mane has got going for him is the finishing. You know, that's kind of the big thing for him. He's kind of a cut in winger. I would say Maxman is just a pure speed winger. You know, he's pure acceleration, cut and go, um, touch and go, overlaps, you know, receive the ball, a cut in and pass across instead of shoot. So do with that what you would like, lads, um, with that information. But Mane definitely is one of the better players that they have added. I think, you know, levels wise, he's probably just a little bit, a little bit low um compared to like the epics and the legends but that makes sense i mean obviously the epics and the legends are going to have that little bit of um advantage that way especially with the form but yeah i mean even his his base stats lads when you train him up here the 95 rated version of him that we're going to be playing through the middle with 80 finishing is very decent you know you've got the acceleration balance and offensive awareness all into the 90 zone the dribbling into the 90 zone and then the finishing at 80 but i still do think that you know using a prolific winger you definitely need to use him in the best possible way and that's probably the best way of doing it so that is it for me lads i will be back today streaming a little bit later on tonight so hope to see you guys in the chat first stream of june and uh yeah we'll be back in a bit don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and come and hang out with the stream we're going to be a chill one all right lads peace